It may look like any other household chore, but Maureen Nanyika of Banda, a suburb of Kampala, is actually arranging our water for purification. Nanyika relies on the solar water disinfection system, also this, to purify the water she fetches from the tap. I put three, two, it depends what we have used for drinking. It is as simple as it looks, just bottles of mineral water placed out in the sun. This is the basic setup of the Sodis water disinfection system. McDonald Bumba, who works for a Christian charity, Revelation Life Uganda, where it is being piloted in Boyogere, explains. It has to be a clear bottle, like this one. And the smallest should always be uh, 500 milliliters. And you need clean water from a clean source, let's say a spring or let's say uh, from a tap. To start, one has to fill transparent bottles with clean water. But the bottle wrappers must be peeled off. The bottles have to be arranged on a platform facing the sun. In this case, one that is metallic to boost the emission of heat. So on a sunny day, it is the whole day from morning till evening. But if it is on a cloudy day, for example right now it's a little bit cloudy, you have to count two days. So how does ultraviolet energy or UV rays work. It takes a long time for the UV rays to work on the bottle in this kind of position. So this is much easier because it gets the whole bottle in place to heat it properly. The sun rays eliminate the ability of disease-causing microorganisms in the water to reproduce. So if they cannot replicate, they cannot infect the water. Its promoters believe the process destroys 99.9% .9 of harmful bacteria like E. coli without adding chemicals to the water. A bottle that is as hard as a jerry can, it is hard for the UV rays to really do serious mechanism on it. But to use this technology, the water must be free of dirt or debris, which can interfere with the effectiveness of the UV rays to penetrate it. But is this bottle entirely safe? There are those who argue that too much exposure to direct heat could release toxic chemicals used in making the bottles into the water. We trust these bottles because whoever makes these bottles uh, should have gone through all the standards. For Nanyika, the only downside is that sometimes our bottles are stolen by recyclers. The solar water disinfection system is approved by both UNICEF and World Health Organization. WHO said in a statement in 2007 that... Solar disinfection is an example of another measure with proven health impact that requires little capital investment on the part of end users and is thus appropriate for the very poor. The system is being tried out in slum communities in Kampala that have limited access to clean water. 80% of people in Uganda without access to clean drinking water live in rural areas. Yes. Are you sure? This saves the energy cost incurred in boiling water. This is also another way of recycling used mineral water bottles. They still believe boiling water is the best thing. It may be time consuming to wait for this water to be ready at the end of the day. But in this method you have a cost effective means of purifying water. Moses Akena, NTV.